Uh, you know, it was awesome. Uh, Morris ran a heck of a race. I mean, he, you know, set it up and controlled it. And I wanted to be in a little bit more contention, but I was a little far back. And kind of had to, had to make a lot of moves. I mean, I was on the inside of lanes. I was on the outside of lanes. I just tried to, you know, bide my time and be close enough where I could make a move with 115 to go. And those guys got a little tangled up. And, you know, I took advantage of it and kind of closed hard and got some bronze. You know, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, we saw that tangle up about 50 meters ago. What was your reaction? How to take advantage and kind of move up? And you know, I just knew that that was my time that I had to go and, you know, really, really make a move for it. In the 800, if you make a move, it, it's got to be it's got to be all or nothing. I mean, you don't get too many chances. And so that's where I put it down and I was able to have enough strength to close there. So. Did you know? Did you know talk before the race? Did he share with you what his plan was? No, but I mean, I kind of figured after how yesterday it went that that was going to be how Borch was going to run. I mean, that's how he's run successfully the last year is, you know, going out in front and controlling and, you know, holding on. So, like I said, he ran a heck of a race, heck of a race kind of, you know, set it up for me to sneak in there for bronze. You know, I'm just super excited. Yeah. Were, you, I, did you, were you knowing how fast he was going after the first 200, 400 when it was you know, I, like I said, I wanted to be top three and we were out in 23 point and I was in fifth place, I think. Um, so, you know, I just knew I had to bide my time and, you know, I saw him come across in 49. Uh, you know, I knew the guys were going to fade a little bit and, you know, I'm pretty confident in my strength that if I was there, able to, you know, hang on to those guys until the last 150 meters that I'd at least be able to make a move and you know try to go for contention for a medal. So. Did you ever doubt your strategy during the race at all? You know, I never doubted my strategy. You know, just uh, had a lot of faith in my training, a lot of faith in my strength. You know, the speed's there, so 50 point didn't feel too hard. And, you know, just kind of had to be patient. I'm not always the best with being patient. I'm trying to run on lane two for 400 meters, and that doesn't always pay off. So I just tried to, you know, bide my time, like I said, made a move 150 to go and just went for it. Eric, from invitational entry to world medalist. Yeah, uh... Man, you know, it's, it's awesome. Uh, I can't even put it into words. Just excited, thankful I got the entry. I'm thankful for USATF for accepting that on my behalf. And uh, just excited I could go out there and play myself on the track and, you know, get a medal. You get a medal here indoors. What does this mean about outdoor Olympics? Or well, you know, outdoors is another game. I mean, you see the collegiate guys, how fast they're running indoors. You know, you'll bring guys like Nick and Dwayne, Brandon Johnson, Elijah, Tyler. All those guys are going to be, you know, fighting just to make a U.S. final. I mean, making the U.S. finals. Uh, a big feat in itself, so just, uh, you know, get a couple good solid training sessions here and uh, set myself up for outdoor season and just, you know, get in that final outdoors and lay it on the line again. Congratulations.